Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing on this beautiful morning? Except it's a little cool this morning. 46 degrees in Georgia. And I'm Helen from Georgia, if in case y'all don't know. <laughs> and I'm out here drinking my coffee. No distractions. I don't hear anything barking. I don't hear anything, a road scraper or going up the road or other things that go around here that makes noise. Oh, just birds and, I, and that's okay. I like birds. And they don't do too bad. I like for them to sing and, and enjoy their uh, visit to my uh, rock garden and my place where I fix for them to enjoy being here and I'm having coffee this morning out here on this cool morning y'all I thought it was gonna get summertime but Lord I don't know if it's getting winter or getting summer or what I'm telling you <laughs> things are happening cold when it needs to be warm but I'll take it I'll take it because if I wasn't taking it I might not be here <laughs> so I'm here to uh, be living in this time where anything goes just about I'm telling you you don't know the seasons from one season to another it seems like winter in the summer and seems like some of the winter is warm but it, but it's okay i'm not complaining i'm just telling y'all <laughs> oh how it is but i'm out here on this beautiful sunshiny day it is a beautiful day and lord y'all Cody's trying to get the lawnmower fixed. He he got a belt for it and he put it on. He must have put it on wrong. It, it uh, still won't do, but he's going to work on it again today. So maybe he can get it going and cut the grass. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's liable to be a snake crawl by like one time before. I was out here standing right here at my on these bricks and I was doing something in my hand and I felt something on my foot and I looked down there was a big old snake crawling across on top of my foot and I just had some shoes on that you just slide your foot in there's a little strap up at the top across your toes is out and the rest of it's out but oh lord I like to have had a heart attack I, I was froze wishing that snake would hurry up and get across my foot so I could move. But he took his time and it took a while, seemed like five minutes for that thing to get across my foot. He just crawling across my foot and went across over that way. We found a snake skin out there about six foot long and I believe that snake was six foot long because after after we after that snake, then we had uh, my family was here and the children went out there and found that snake skin. I don't know if he was trying to shed or what he was trying to do when he cut across my foot, but I was so proud that he left my foot alone and went on. Let me have a sip of coffee, y'all. Oh, this is your coffee. I let y'all have this cup this morning. I warmed it up in the microwave. It, I want it to be good and warm out here because it's cool and the coffee won't stay warm very long. So this is your coffee. Y'all have a sip. Can y'all see y'all's coffee in there? I don't want to pour it out. All right, there's y'all's coffee and here's my coffee. Y'all come on up a little closer so y'all can see what's going on around here. <laughs> and it's not much. <laughs> today thank the lord it's a it's a beautiful quiet morning the birds i don't even know if they're out there much or not but 
I did see one uh, earlier this morning. I when I when I fed them, they came. They 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 watch me and they know when I'm feeding them and they come out when I when I go away so they can go over there. But anyway, today, y'all. <laughs> I am about to get a hundred thousand subscribers, y'all! <laughs> I can't believe it! I know y'all are helping me. Y'all are the reason that I've got that many. Anyway, y'all have helped me so much and shared my videos is what I think. Watching them and then sharing them with people you know and maybe somebody along the way will subscribe. And and I don't like many more being to a hundred thousand. And that is unbelievable. That's that's just unheard of for somebody like me to have a hundred thousand subscribers. It's just a miracle, y'all, and y'all are the reason because y'all care and try to help me. And I, 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 I'm so blessed and so thankful for all, all y'all. Y'all just, y'all make me so happy and so, cause y'all care. Y'all really do. I can tell y'all really care. You wouldn't even go down there and write out something to me if you didn't care. I mean, you wouldn't even go to that trouble. You just go on and do something else and forget about it. But y'all don't do that. And I'm sorry that I can't get to all your comments because, Lord, I have Facebook, YouTube, and all this stuff around here to do. I've been planting and I've been digging and I've been all, y'all, I was out there yesterday. I had on some big old shoes. They... They they wait they're they're not even my shoes they <laughs> they're way too big but I wear them around here in the yard because it keeps my feet from getting wet when it's damp outside. I was out there. Uh, Cody was working on the lawnmower and I was out there picking up some limbs that I had cut off out there in my blueberry bush. And I had a big old pitchfork and I was trying to get that stuff shoveled up on there and I was carrying it out there in the woods and dumping it. And I was over there <laughs> to trying to get these limbs up. Somehow or another, I think, I don't know if I stepped on my shoestring or my feet got tangled up or whatever. <laughs> started falling <laughs> and Cody said grandma <laughs> he come running over there <laughs> grandma what I said what are you doing I said I fell Cody well come here grandma and let me help you get up and, I got, and it got me up <laughs> I was not hurt at all. <laughs> but last night, Cody said, I was sitting there and they said, Grandma, I don't mean to be laughing at you, but that was the funniest ball I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he said, he, felt, he said, I fell the slowest he ever seen in his life. <laughs> Like in slow motion, I just kind of twisted. I just rolled over, you know, and he, <laughs> he, he, he laughed, but he didn't let me see it right then. <laughs> I probably would, I, I would have laughed myself. I, I think I did laugh a little bit, but you know, you really could get hurt falling. But thank the Lord, I, I didn't get hurt. But in a way. It was funny. Cody said, Grandma, you failed you failed the slowest I've ever seen in my life. So you just you just sort of took a slow motion down to the ground. 
uh, he come running over there. He was talking on the phone uh, right then, and, and he, he said, my grandma's just fell. And he run over there to help me get up. Give me your hand, Grandma, and I'll, I'll get you up. He got me up, so I decided I'd come on to the house. <laughs> he told me to stay in the house anyway. Don't come out there. I try to tell him how to do things, like fix the lawnmower and what not to do. And <laughs> He likes it when I don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I just want to tell y'all about that little, little fall. But it it was funny, really. It it was it was. But I I I tend to overdo, you know. I <laughs> and I was in them old uh, uh, old limbs. It was a small little old limbs that I cut out of my blueberries. All kind of stuff start growing up in there. And if you don't cut them out, there'll be a a forest out there in your blueberry patch if you don't keep them cut out. But anyway, I'm on get off of that subject because y'all don't worry because I I'm I'm careful as I can be. I just I just got these old big shoes on and my I think I stepped on the shoestring or either I got tangled up in them limbs or something. I don't know what happened but anyway, I fell. But it I didn't hit hard. I just sorta of fell and rolled over. You know, I don't I don't know. Cody can tell you <laughs> but he won't tell you. He He's a, I don't know why he's like he is. He don't want to be seen. He don't want to be heard. He, he's so private. Lord have mercy, that boy. I don't know where he got that mess from because I sure ain't like that. <laughs> Lord, this coffee's getting cooled off fast because it's cold out here. Anyway, I, I'm going to quit talking because I, I can talk right on and on and on, but I don't need to. I need to tell y'all what I'm going to do. Oh, I, 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 I was digging right over there in my, and I uh, planting some stuff. And I dug down and about this far down, it was red clay, red as it could be. And I I said, Good gracious, where where'd this stuff come from? And I dug down some more. And there was more and more and more. Let me get I I'll tell y'all first. Uh I said, well, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna use this stuff in a in a video. I'm gonna make a flower pot of this red I'm gonna make a red clay flower pot out of this stuff. And I, I said, I'm gonna run in there and get my video camera and video where it's at and how I'm digging it up and all that. So that's what I did. And I'm gonna show y'all some pieces of it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up and get it. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, <laughs> I'm out here digging my flower bed, digging a new flower bed, and I found this red, red clay. And I want to take a picture of, so I can show y'all, I'm going to make a flower pot out of this red clay. And I wanted to show y'all how I how I found it. I don't here it is. See how red it is? That's a little of dirt on it, but that is red clay. And I'm going I'm gonna make a flower pot out of it. I just wanted to show y'all how I found it. Saving it so I can. That 
is some red clay. See, there it is. Y'all might not believe that if I didn't show you <laughs> how red it is. I painted the elephant ear right here. I bought it at Walmart. that red okay y'all I I'm gonna put the camera up because I'm not doing a video today I've got some things I got to do in town and I was just out here doing this and I found this this red stuff and I I wanted it and I wanted to let y'all see where it came from right here at my house okay Plant something in this hole. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this red okra plant here. This came all the way from New York. Y'all, I was not planning on videoing anything today because I'm doing this and I haven't got time to get my stuff together. And, and, okay, I'm going to cut it off. My hands is dirty and I, I'll put this in my next video where where y'all can see where the red stuff come from. I can't even find the clean things to turn the camera off. Okay, here it is. There's a piece of it right there. It's red as it can be. It, the camera looks dark a little bit. I guess y'all can see it. But I, I'm going to try to Oh, uh, there's some more. It's red, real red. And I'm going to try to, oh, uh, there's a piece. Y'all can see. Anyway, I'm going to put this, I'm not going to use my Georgia sand this time. I'm going to use my Georgia red clay in this project and I, I hope I can get it it's kind of in big 
pieces and I hope I can get it off. Look at that one. It don't look red to me in that camera. It might look red. I don't know. I have to. Oh, that red bird flew up there. <laughs> I, I'm going to uh, put it in some water and see if I can soften it up and put it in this pot. Y'all have a sip of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna put that on my cup and this on your cup so no bugs won't get in. You know, they will crawl around and get on you because I had one, a worm, to get on me over here, crawl all the way around my neck, all the way up here and cross there before I knew he was on there. So things can happen out here in my yard, I can tell you. Oh, they're back there eating. So I'm going to cut the camera off now and get my stuff ready to put my uh, pot together and see what, see what happens. There's no telling. Anything could happen at any time. They could be just a bunch of dogs go to barking. They could be noisy stuff just going on. But right now... It's, it's really quiet and nice, and I'm enjoying my morning out here. It's so pretty. Birds are so happy. They're always happy, y'all. Sometimes I don't see them, but they're still happy. <laughs> and I'm happy, even though I can't go anywhere. Oh, I did not tell y'all, and I didn't want to tell you. Oh. Uh, I'll tell y'all when I'm making this thing. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to turn the camera off now and get my stuff right here ready. Okay. Here's my old, I, I got an old tub because I, I didn't know what this red stuff was going to do to the Tub, so I just use a real old one, the clay. I, I don't, I can't measure it because it's big old pieces in a cup. So I'm just gonna put what I think I need in there, which is, I think I'm gonna put about four cups. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't even know what it's going to do. If it's going to soften up. Can y'all see that stuff? I'm going to put a little water in here now and see if it, see if it's going to soften up. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff is going to do. Good gracious. I know one thing that water is red. Can y'all see it? Let me look. Okay, I think you can see now. If it's level, I don't know. It's pretty level, I guess. Now all this is Georgia clay. I might need to get my eyes pick out here. Don't salt nut. Get a little bit more in here. Pour some water in there. It's just going to 
have to soak, I guess, and kind of soften up. Oh, this ain't, this has not got any color in here except this clay color. And it's red. I'm going to go ahead and put some cement in here. Okay, this is two cups of Portland cement. This is going to be a red pot, y'all, I believe. This red uh, clay is like cement almost. Y'all, I'm just gonna turn the camera off till I get it mixed up because it's not, it's not uh, dissolving that fast. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I've been stirring and trying to get it mixed up, and, and I've decided I'm going to leave some big pieces because it, it's just like cement. When it gets hard, it, it, won't, it won't come apart. It's, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this uh, off the table, put the pot on there that I'm going to use, and get ready to start doing that. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, I'm going to turn it off and change the battery and uh, get ready to put my pot up here. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this is a messy job, <laughs> but I'm going to try to start on and see what happens. I'm just going to stick it to this old pot because it's old and brittle and I know I can get it out. I guess. Oh, this is one of a kind too. This is something. I've not done this before. This is something that I've not tried. And I may not try it again. <laughs> they don't do good. But you gotta well for you can do this with just sand. You can you can do it with just sand. You don't have to have red clay. But I 
found it and I decided I wanted to use it. Y'all never know what's laying around your yard that you can use to make a project. <laughs> but you have to get out and look or just happened up on it. I just happened up on this. I didn't, I did not uh, know that it was there. I just was digging in, uh, planting something there, and, and it just it just came up. Y'all, I hope this mess comes out. One way or another, I think I can get it out. One way or the other. I may have to. We'll just see. I don't know what I'll have to. Y'all. Uh. We had church again on Sunday. But it was outside. It was it was in the church yard. This time it wasn't in the cemetery. Y'all, this may be a disaster like some of the other disasters I've had. It may be one you cannot tell ever, really. And this right here looks like a disaster. This really looks like it's going to be one. <laughs> because I'm putting this stuff on this pot. And I don't have anything under it. I'm just sticking it on here, but I'm thinking maybe this is an old pot and it's brittle and it's about to fall apart. And if it falls apart, or if I can't get it out, <laughs> I may just leave it in there. Whatever, you know, I'm going, I'm just going to try it. You never know. Just don't know what what might happen. You got to try stuff, even if, even if it don't work. To to learn. That's how you learn. You you uh. Try and try and trial and error <laughs> is what I'll say. Uh. Anyway, we had church. We had church at our uh, in our church yard, and we had a good many people and and families kind of sit together and spaced apart and all this that you're supposed to do. We we did all that. They they told the older people to stay in the cars and not get out because it wasn't safe you know the they're more apt to get uh that stuff and not make it if you get it so they're wanting to keep all us old people safe <laughs> so i stayed in the car 
Uh, I, su I took some pictures uh, through my car window, which was not that easy. And my, it was kind of sun was back there, you know, behind us. And it kind of made it a little difficult. But I made a few, and I, I just like to make memories of things, you know, and when it was and how it was and I put them on my Facebook page if anybody can go over there and look at it at them and they uh live stream or whatever they did i don't know what it was they videoed it or something i don't really know the difference that much i just know it was on facebook and we're making the best out of it we can at least we we are getting to do do some form of church and not letting it be just can't have it and it's so hard to not to be able to go up to the people that you don't see uh, very much except you know at church maybe and uh, speak to them and hug them and shake their hand and I don't even know if we'll ever, I, I just really don't know. I, I'm not even going, I don't know if shaking hands will ever, you know, things changing and you just don't know what to expect and what may happen or, you know, it's just, Nothing ever stays the same, you know, it changes. That wind could stop any time now because it's cool here. And it makes it colder, colder. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a blessed, blessed day. And it's having as much fun as you can have. Y'all, can y'all even see me putting it on here? I need to be this way, don't I? Y'all talk, talking about an old rustic thing and this is probably gonna be it. <laughs> Y'all know I like that kind of stuff. Y'all, if y'all want to make something like this, I don't know where you can, I don't know if you can buy this stuff or not. I, I've never seen any, but I never looked for any either. Just happened to be digging over there. And I dug some up, and I dug a little more, and I dug some more up. So I said, oh my goodness, him. What is this? This is red Georgia clay. I said, well, I, I'm going to make a flower pot with this stuff to see what happens. So I said, well, let me go get my camera and I'll video a little of it showing where, where it was and how I got it up. And because when I make a video, I like to show y'all what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do. Clay is like cement, and I got cement in here too, so it's gonna be double enforced. 
really some people make bowls and you have to fire it and all that stuff to make a bowl but I don't want a bowl I just want a flower pot <laughs> y'all people are saying we're going to have a new normal. And I don't know what a new normal is. Not completely, I don't. I mean, I don't know what they mean. It, I think they're trying to say it's not going to be the way it used to be. Ever. And that may be true, y'all. Because... I've seen some stuff that I didn't know could happen. Y'all, I, I got all the stuff on here. I, I'm just kind of sticking on some of this red uh, stuff. Just maybe it'll show up. Okay. I'm just putting some of these big pieces of uh, red clay on here just in case that other don't show up that much. I, w I wanted some of these pieces in here. <laughs> no, I guess when you run out of cement, you quit, don't you? <laughs> I have run out of cement, but I'm finished. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna try to do anything else. I'm just gonna let this dry and see what I have, and y'all don't know, but whenever you out here and There's a, you can't see very well. It's a glare or it's light, it's dark. And, and you can't really tell. You can't see everything as, you, as well as you would like to. As I would like to. But... All I know to do now is let this dry. If I can leave it alone that long, I'm just always dabbling in something. Oh, I don't know when to quit. Okay, I am going to quit because I don't know anything else to do. It's my glasses. My glasses sometimes just, I don't know. I don't know what they do, but anyway... Thank y'all so much. I think they're glaring. Now my glasses is not glaring that much. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let y'all see it. <laughs> I've done, uh, I've got such a mess on here. And I had to put that on there to keep it from turning around and around and around. But you can't probably see it either. It's dark up under here. And I'm going to let it dry and come back when it dries and see. See, y'all, I can't never stop. I'm always... Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing. 
and be in my YouTube family. And my coffee's over there. And I'm over here, you know, how that is. <laughs> it's usually somewhere I'm not there. But it'd have dirt in it or clay or something. No, it'd have something in it that I didn't want. But it's over there covered up and it's fine. And I'll drink it. I'll heat it back up in a minute and, and uh, drink it. I'm going to go in the house now. I, I got these same old gloves that I had my resin and they were pretty clean so I used them. <laughs> well, we're going to see how my uh, clay flower pot turns out whenever it gets dry. I I'm going to have to probably cut it out or something. I don't know what I'm going to have to do, but I'll do something. So I'll see y'all when I come back to, to let y'all see what's happened here. <laughs> I hope it's not too bad, y'all. Y'all have a blessed rest of the day and be kind to others and that's less fortunate than we are. They are a lot of people very less fortunate and and they need to be remembered and I remember them in my prayers and I remember y'all people tell me that their uh, mother needs prayer or whatever and I pray for them that's what we need to do is pray for each other and pray for this country and our leaders because they're telling us what to do and they're trying I think to do the right thing but you know, no one knows hardly what to do, but we're trying, and we'll we'll get through it one way or the other. <laughs> bye bye. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm telling you, it's got to where you have to just figure out what when you can do something, and not have all distractions that's going on in the world. <laughs> Seems like every time I want to come out here, there's things happening. And so, this after, I was going to do this this morning, and I, things was happening, I couldn't do it. Oh, there's a hummingbird. Uh, uh, I couldn't do it this morning. And so, I'm out here this afternoon. Uh, it's afternoon, uh, not morning, but I'm still having. Oh, y'all, look at my new cup. I haven't, I haven't drank that of it yet. This is gonna be my first time. Mmm. That is awesome. Oh, that's the cutest little cup, y'all. Y'all think of all kind of th stuff that that I like. <laughs> which I like about everything. But anyway, y'all, y'all remember, this was a red clay with cement mixed together, big flower pot. And I, I got it right over there in my flower bed. I showed y'all the uh, video where I dug it up. And what I did was I, I let it dry a little. It was in a, a little tub, and it kind of dried out. And it took a while to get that big pieces uh, softened up enough to make this pot. And I went ahead and put some of the big pieces in here because just about couldn't get it all, all mixed up fine. And and it it didn't matter because. I like it rough looking, and, and that's what it is. It's a, this, y'all, this is one of a kind. <laughs> There's not another one like this, y'all. Not another one like this, but I'm out here this afternoon before the sun, before it gets dark, and it's kind of getting late in the afternoon now. But, and it is beautiful. 
it is really, really, I'll show y'all all the way around it. But I'm going to take it, I'm going to see if I can take it out of this mold now. Uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out. I, I, I may, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what it's going to do. But I'm fixing to find out. <laughs> and y'all, since I told y'all, I got a hundred thousand subscribers. I was so thrilled. Y'all, the 13th of uh, May. Uh, I think it was about 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been checking on it because it was on 99. And I clicked over there. There was 100,000 subscribers. I like to have died. <laughs> I was so thrilled. Y'all, that is for me, not for everybody. For me, that is something unheard of. Unheard of. But it, uh, it, it really happened, finally, after all this time. And y'all are the reason I have 100,000 subscribers. All my YouTube people, family, YouTube family, really, my YouTube family. Y'all are the reason. I know, I see y'all sharing my stuff. And that's how, like, other people get to see it. I like, I go in there and I turn on my TV and the same old stuff kind of pops up that, that I've been looking at. And if you don't know to look up someone, then you don't see them, maybe. You know, you might, they might go by and you might not pay it any attention, but if somebody shares a video with you and tells you about my channel, uh, then, then you'll notice and, and kind of maybe look at it, and that's helped me a lot. I know it has, because the kindest, caringest people I've ever had in my life around me that keeps me lifted up with, with your help, with everyone out there's help and the Lord's help. He has led me down this path that I'm on right now. He has led me down this path. I, 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 I didn't, I mean, I don't really even know how it happened. I just, my son uh, has a channel, a TV. Uh, he makes antennas. He picks up TV all over every, I mean, he's selling a bunch of them. And he's on YouTube and, uh, uh, eBay, I think, I think it is. I don't know. I, I may get stuff mixed up. I'm, I mixed up a little bit. But anyway, he told, I always would video my birds and I'd take pictures and I would set up, you know, and I'd, but I never dreamed about putting it on YouTube. Never, never crossed my mind, which ain't much up there, but it never crossed my mind. He told me, Mama, you ought to get on YouTube. And I said, no, I'm, I'm not going to get on there and talk. Look at me now. I, I can't shut up. <laughs> but you never know what you can do till you try it. And he fixed my thing up for me to be on there. I didn't know, I didn't do it. I didn't know how, and I still don't know how. All I know how to do is get on there and put a video on it. I don't know how to do that too good. But anyway, that's how I got started. And I put, and, and he said, uh, do you want to be monetized? I said, no, no, I don't want to be monetized. Well, he kept on, and I kept, I, I didn't even know what monetized was, you know. That's putting ads on there, I guess y'all all know that, but uh, I finally said, okay, <laughs> after persuasions and persuasions. So, uh, here I am, 100,000 subscribers. It's just a dream come true. It's just don't seem like it could be happening. Well, okay. Oh, y'all, I'm going to quit. Y'all, 
I didn't bring y'all any coffee this afternoon because I, I, I didn't have time. I was trying to get out here. The sun may go down and it may get dark and I'm trying to do this video and I want to get through with it so I can put it on there for y'all. And so I'm going to set my, I'm going to have another sip of coffee and then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to take this pot out if I can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That is a cute little cup. People think up so much. And the gifts y'all send me is awesome. I cannot believe that people... And, and the glass that I got, I thought it was from someone. And I asked them about it, and they said, no, they didn't send it. So I don't know who sent that beautiful all-colored stained glass or whatever, it, whatever that stuff is. It is beautiful, and I would love to thank someone that sent it to me, but I don't know who it was. So, I'm, I'm going to get up now, and I'm going to see if I can get this thing out. Might be, <laughs> might not be possible. I don't know. Well, we're going to see. Okay, well, first, let me zoom out. I'm going to see if I can turn it over. Oh. <laughs> I may have to cut this. This is an old pot and as brittle as it can be. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get this thing out or not. Y'all, if I do something simple, maybe it would work better. I'm always doing stuff. Let me get some wool. Lord, I hope it don't get dark. I knew I wasn't going to be able to probably use this pot again. Y'all might want to get up here and see. This was pretty good stuff this pot was made from. Because it's, it's pretty still, I mean, it's old and brittle and all, but it's still pretty strong. Y'all, my camera cut off. Cody, come out here. I was having such a time. He's going to try to see if he can help me get it. Okay. 
Where's that little screwdriver? Ooh, thank you. Hold on. I, got, I, got, I got a better one. Hold on. What's up? Cut it up there. Way up there. Just little pieces. Got no shoes on. Mm -mm. Don't Never you know shoes. snakes crawl out here? I'll never wear shoes. Okay. Oh, you help! Oh, oh! I won't get through with it for the sun goes down. I told them this was one of a kind. <laughs> Another one like this. Because you got a bunch of sand in it or something. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Whew, I'd be out here in a midnight, wouldn't I? Oh, Look. There's a blower over there. Use the oil. All right. Oh, thank you, Cody. You I'm gone? Gonna, huh? Huh? I'm gonna go to the store. Oh, you ain't. What? Come here and help me. Okay, y'all. I'm finally finished with this project. Cody, Cody, come to my rescue. I was having a time getting that old pot off, of, out of here. We had to break it all to pieces, but I knew it might not come out because it was old and uh, so I just, uh, I wanted to show it, show it to y'all. This is, this is one of a kind that's never I've never made. I don't know if anybody's ever made one like this, but I was out here having the worst time. I had a time trying to get it off of that table onto another table, and I was trying to get this stuff out, and Cody came out here, and I was working so hard, and he was so sweet to come out here and help me get this out, and that was a big help. And, uh... Thank y'all so much for watching my videos, subscribing and sharing and clicking the bell and thumbs up and all that and my 100,000 subscribers. I am so thrilled and so thankful to each and every one of y'all for helping me. And y'all did help. Y'all done a lot. A lot. Cody, you want to say something? Um, she caught me or I, actually I was coming out to go to the store to get me a can of dip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she was here doing this right here, and I seen her struggling. But she got it. Appreciate it for the 100,000 subscribers. Uh, could have been possible without y'all, obviously. Because, uh, I mean, it's the subscribers. Um, yeah, I mean, appreciate it. It's not my channel, but appreciate it. <laughs> you definitely made her day. I know it. It did. So, y'all... I'm going to get this video up for y'all and let y'all see it. Y'all saw how I mixed up this red 
Georgia clay and that's that come out of my yard right over there and I reckon I'm I'm gonna see y'all on the next video and thanks again for everything and y'all's patience and kindness to us and and be kind to each other and be kind to people that are less fortunate that are that has doesn't have much uh it means a lot to them for you to stop and speak and say how you doing and and do a good deed for people and it'll come right back to you thank y'all again <laughs> just smile pretty cody <laughs>